everyone, Kane here, and in this video we're gonna talk about Forest Claim, how much Lunari you kind of require to spend to get a true prism, how much uh, would a second and a third cost, and also uh, whether or not you should play it. So before the video, I do have to let you know, there is gonna be four Lunari spending events in the next two weeks. That being uh, dice with uh, armory materials. Uh, after that, I do believe crafter with bazaar or uh, finders keepers. And then the next one. And then, of course, lucky wheel. So do keep in mind the next two weeks you kind of require to have a decent amount of Lenari. So if you don't have much and you require anything out of the other four, do keep in mind that you may want to be skipping uh, this event or not spending as much Lenari. So, that aside, uh, I already did calculations in terms of pulling. And pretty much to get the first true prism, you require to pull only 74 uh, rather times. And 74 would equal to about 13 to 14,000 Lenari. Because three days you get two pulls each, so that will make up six, uh, I suppose, wishes. So 74 by Lenari, and you get uh, first true prism just by around like 14,000 Lenari. However, if you are gonna be spending uh, more Lenari to get a second and a third, the cost kind of decreases. So uh, to get the first one, you're gonna be reaching up until here. And from 80 to 125, that's going to be 45 pulls. So 45 pulls would equal to something around uh, 8,000 Lunari. So from 14 to 22-ish, I do believe. And uh, to get the third one, you're going to require 35 pulls. So that one is about 6,500 somewhere there. Uh, plus minus like a few hundred. So likely this is going to cost somewhere around like uh, close to or around 30,000 Lenari just to do a full uh, forest claim for the, I suppose, accumulated wishes rewards. Whether or not it is completely useful, it's kind of up to you. The thing is, there are a few calculations that you may want to do. So if you're pulling this, you're likely pulling for true prisms as well as prism experience. And that can be through uh, common prism boxes, that can be through uh, uncommon prism boxes, and of course the um, chances for rewards in here, and even chances to get even more true prisms from here. However, there are a couple of things that you can buy from the shop as well. So, I've always said if you are spending Lunari, you have to get achievements, that being true prisms, that being uh, perhaps going for lucky wheel skins. If you are on a pretty decently decked out account, do keep that in mind. Or greater dragon abilities or etc, etc. Something that you put a specific amount of Lunari on and you do happen to upgrade your account. And if your account is fairly new, true prisms are one of the pretty strong ways to actually break quite a few heroes in terms of like Valerie, in terms of like uh, Avril, etc, etc. So do keep that in mind that true rubies and true emeralds go on quite a lot of heroes to increase their DPS or even if they don't do DPS, they will be starting to do with these particular ones. Like Nora doesn't do much until you put a true ruby with a draconic storm array then she starts doing quite a lot of damage. So there are nuances like uh, right there. However, uh, you may require eventually to get at least two, I think, two amethysts, uh, a bit more if you are playing with archers and stuff like that. I personally don't use archers, so I don't really require that many true amethysts. But of course, every formation is a bit different. Now, in terms of the reward, so again, if you're going to be pulling 80 or spending like 14,000 Nari just for one true prism, you're going to be only getting this thing here. However, if you're on a new server, you kind of require to go a little bit further. The reason for that is you have these prism custom chests and you can select two random ones uh, to equip two additional heroes. So... Every event you will be getting uh, a new prism here, which 
unfortunately we didn't get because of a bug but eventually they will send us as far as i'm aware and of course you're gonna be able to buy two of them here so that's three per event and that is quite a lot of stats that you will be able to get per month just from this event or eventually throughout uh, other events features if you don't really upgrade them from the get-go so at least 84 pulls depending on which realm you play now if you would be going further on and just pulling the wheel to 125 or like 160 likely you may be wanting or needing to stack up a pretty huge sum of lenari again and likely you will be skipping the next let's say forest claim for that to happen depending uh, which kind of people uh, or rather uh, what kind of people and how well they play the events because events are pretty much where majority of the lenari comes from now uh, personally it is hard to say if it's incredibly beneficial for you to uh, play the full, uh, I suppose, forest claim. Uh, for new players, likely. For mid to uh, later type players, I'm not entirely sure because the numbers, they're pretty rough, right? So, for example, if um, a regular player or rather a late game player who doesn't really require two prisms would be pulling this, he would be pulling this just for basic materials to upgrade prisms, right? And then just selecting something like this. So the person would be spending like, what, 14,000 plus above Lenari for not getting anything, just upgradable materials that you're able to get from a lot of events and etc. So this is kind of like, would be or is going to be a pretty huge waste. So do keep in mind, you shouldn't really randomly waste your uh, Lenari for attempts. If you cannot make it to a true prism, don't even try. And likely you shouldn't even be trying or basing your luck on that. If you're going to be wasting Lenari, you're not going to hit your achievements and you're not going to get stronger uh, rather quite quickly. I mean, if you do luck out, congratulations, but majority of the time it doesn't work. Like for example, me. I selected bloom boxes or from bloom boxes to get 850 of rare prison boxes. And out of those 800 plus boxes, I got three fine prisms, right? Fine prisms and nothing else. I didn't get a single true stone and I was so friggin' pissed. You wouldn't believe. I was so, so salty. I wasted entire bloom just to get three fine prisms and just a few hundred experience that was that was freaking horrible so chances are you're not gonna like count and you're not gonna get stuff so always do your calculations whether you're gonna uh, meet the true prisms or not and uh, always prepare for them or try to and if not uh, skip them or wait till the last day so you know for sure so that aside going towards the other themes right so basically i've went through every single theme and checked and none of these themes actually seem worthy basically to talk about this right when we had bazaar before uh we had summoner circle to go with it we play summoner circle we get materials for bazaar and we get the achievements in bazaar and then we get the shop in bazaar so then this kind of seemed like worth it because we're getting like a lot and I do mean a lot of materials for the Lenari spend and just this, this doesn't really seem worth it to actually put your Lenari into it. The value seem pretty low. You're not gonna get a lot of value out of it unless you're like a, a pretty huge spender or a Kraken. And even then it does seem like a pretty huge waste of your Lenari. And then we go to Hero Mastery, right? Uh, this also may seem like a pretty huge boost for newer servers. But even then, if you do plan on playing the game for a year, maybe a bit longer, you pretty much gonna have something like this without spending Lenari. Like, I didn't really spend Lenari, and I had this thing maxed in terms of tiers for... Uh, around a year uh, rather um, when i was hitting one year i already had this like filled and i was just upgrading the circles let's say uh, 
these ones which grant additional stats, right? So you don't need to, you basically only need two circles to just go further. And I have what? One, two, uh, three, four circles additionally raised just in this one. So yeah, do keep in mind that uh, a lot of hero uh, scroll scraps and whatever are going to be wasted if you're going to be putting Linari into these ones. And they don't really give that much return. So if you win a couple of events by putting some Linari, not a lot, likely you can make back the Linari. But even then, I kind of doubt it. Like, I, I really doubt it that it would be the best option or the only option to actually uh, make sure that you win that event or stuff like that. There are small niches where that may be the case, but... I highly doubt it would justify wasting that much amount of Linari. And the same for the chakra materials. Like, personally, I have maxed my frontline, my archers, and I almost maxed my turtle. I have a few uh, of those pieces to level 20, and 20 is max. So, basically, you get these by just playing the game, right? And I'm playing the game for like a, a year and four months or five months. And I've already almost finished my third troop. So do keep in mind, you get like this stuff rather quite a lot if you do play the events. And then it kind of becomes a waste to spend your Lenari on them. I mean, you're not gonna be able to put a lot of the different troops on your field simply because of research. So as you can see, majority of my research is incredibly low except for archers and frontline. And frontline, in one year and like five months, I still have not finished two of the trees. So again, uh, do keep in mind that it becomes pretty friggin' hard to manage more than two troops. So in the end, out of these four themes, the only one which is good is the prism one with a chance to even get more true prisms just by pulling it. Basically, before we valued a true prism, somewhere around like i guess from 12 to 24000 lunari just because you had to guarantee it to get it majority of the time now to guarantee we require a lot less lunari so kind of the lunari cost became a little bit less as well as we are getting a lot more prism boxes from a lot of features so if you do luck out you do get a couple of them or quite a few of them early on your accounts or you already have them I don't think that it is very crucial for you to keep playing this and eventually you're going to get them from some other events. Like I I think I got mine uh, or another uh, true emerald from uh, Draconic Advent even. I got three prism boxes and, and I got a true prism from that. And prior to uh, playing Bloom, I selected 850 rare boxes, like 850 of these boxes. And I got three fine prisms. So getting a true prism out of three was actually, I suppose, pretty decent. Because I was pretty friggin' salty about the bloom one. But yeah, I suppose that's pretty much it for the feature, the cost, and whether or not it's kind of efficient for you to spend on. Personally, on newer servers, it's kind of advised at least to get... Like a minimum of two or three prism or rather true prisms. So for something like Avril, uh, a true emerald and of course a true emerald for Valerie. And if you want to extend more, maybe a true ruby for Nora or a true ruby for Basric or whatever. So those you may require and after that you can just slowly build up uh, your accounts by either events or of course if you have spare Linari to play this. Do keep in mind, again, as I said in the beginning, uh, later uh, these two weeks, we're going to have four Linari spending events. So do keep that in mind. And also, if there's other people watching this video, uh, do keep in mind the date of the video being released. So if you're watching this video after two weeks or whatever, or next month, uh, events will, of course, be different. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and stay safe out there.